In this video, we will analyze a cantilever beam which is subjected to a distributed load which is equal to 5000 Newton per meter. The material that we will use in this problem is structural steel having modulus of elasticity equal to 200 gigapascal. In this problem, we are using wide flange beam. The detailed dimensions of this American wide flange beam is taken from a website the engineering toolbox the link to this page is given in the description of this video so we will use these dimensions h w web thickness this is the web thickness and flange thickness this is flange thickness to create the geometry of this w beam open ansys workbench double click on static structural in the engineering data, we can change the material. By default, structural steel has been selected as a material, so we do not need to change the material. The next step is to create the geometry. We have created this geometry of W beam in my previous video. The link to this video is provided in the description of this video. Right click on the geometry tab and import the geometry from the location that from from the location where which we have saved the file. Open this file. The next step is to mesh the geometry and apply boundary conditions. For that, click on the model button. First, we will generate the mesh. Click on mesh. In the mesh detail, enter an element size of 20 mm. Then click on generate. Now we will apply the boundary conditions. Right click on static structural, insert and fix support. Zoom into this area and select this face. Make sure the face selection button is selected and then select this face and then click apply. Then click on this zoom to fit button. Now we will apply the force. Click on static structural, right click, insert and force. We will apply the force on the top surface. Select this top surface and click apply. We will define the force by components. In the define by tab, select components. And we want to apply the force in y direction, in negative y direction. So we will enter a value of negative 30,000. In our problem, the force applied was 5,000 Newton per meter. For 6 meter length, it would be equal to 5 into 6, which is equal to 30,000 Newton. The total force is actually 30,000 Newton which is acting on this beam. Now click on the solution tab, right click, insert and deformation and total deformation. Right click on the solution tab, insert, stress, equivalent one mysis stress. Now click on the solve button. Now click on the edges tab and select no wireframe. We can see that maximum value of stress is around 63 megapascal which is at the sharp edges. If we zoom into this area, we can see that maximum stress is at the sharp edge. We can ignore this uh, sharp edge which is due to the stress concentration and find the average value at this edge of the beam. So we click on the probe button and see that the value of stress around this edge is around 41 megapascal. So we can probe the values here. Now we uh, click on the total deformation and then click zoom to fit. To see the maximum deformation is at the free end of the beam which is around 11 millimeter. Now we will compare the ANSYS results with our hand calculations to validate the simulation. The maximum bending moment for a cantilever beam which is subjected to distributed load can be found by this equation and the maximum bending moment is 90,000 Newton meter. With the help of this maximum bending moment we can find out the stress by using this equation where C is the distance from the centroidal axis X to the outermost fiber of the beam. So maximum bending stress is around 41.82 megapascal. Now we will find out the maximum deflection in the cantilever beam due to distributed load. And we can see here for the cantilever beam 
subjected to distributed load the maximum deflection is found by using this formula we found that the maximum deflection is around 11.65 mm so maximum deflection value and the equivalent stress value is closely matched with the ANSYS results so our solution is validated